Put your hands together and welcome Anna Wheeler, Wissandria Woolsey, Anita Boland, Jennifer Winkler, Lisa Sims, Don Dixon, and Annie Dwyer as Divas Den, Together Again and Better Within. to Loretta Heights College. Who's going to be a star?
Thank you. And just so you know, Miss Winkler, yeah. you're going to really have to work your ass off. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Seriously? Again? I mean, come on. When is somebody going to cast me and just say I was perfect for the part? Why is there always this caveat that I wasn't a slam dunk? When is somebody going to give me a part and let me enjoy the fact that I earned it? I
Tandy, it's so good to see you. You don't have to sing. Oh, great, thanks. <laughs> Dwyer, are you related to Paul Dwyer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's my brother. Anyway. You know, he really did some great things at that country boulder dinner playhouse party. <laughs> yes, he did. Um, anyway. I will be singing, I can't sing. You know, what is no, he up no! to? Oh, sure, go ahead, whenever you're ready. I'm just a girl who can't say no. I'm in a terrible fix. I always say, come on, let's go. Just when I hear her say, next. next. Oh, and Annie? Huh? Say hi to Paul for me. <laughs> Sandy, are you here? Yeah. 
you nailed it in the rehearsal. Can you teach these ladies the combination? <laughs> Let's face the mirrors, and uh, then uh, all the tall ladies in the back. Okay, ladies, let's turn around away from the mirrors. Don, are you going to be joining us? Oh, absolutely. I'm here, ready to go in just a sec. Bless our show, bless our music, bless the songs we're gonna sing, bless the stage that we'll stand on when we stand and do our thing. Bless each line, every number, all the steps that we've rehearsed, and allow us somehow to be great at the worst. Bless each note and each lyric, help us try to stay on key, bless the lights, and the soundboard, bless our choreography From the top of the downbeat till the final curtain call Bless the day, bless our show, bless it all Bless our props, bless our costumes Give our sequins extra glitz Bless our moves, make them killer Let us nail the funky bits Bless our vibe, give us mojo Help our booty shake on cue Let us rest when we're stressed so our best shines through Bless our wrists and arrangements, let our solos truly rock Help us tear up the sucker till they hear us down the block Let us lay down the boogie till it's bouncing wall to wall Bless 
could ever hope to do. You people, you're all heroes to me. We're a special kind of people known as show people. We live in a world of our own. Our days are tight and curtains, they rise and they fall. We're born every night and have our clothes. Have power! We can't picture being anything but show people.
and creative, but things in the arts have always ignited me. Well, for instance, in high school I was a band geek. <laughs> I, was, no, I, was, I was a respected band geek. <laughs> I, I played a different instrument in every ensemble there was, and I was very good at all of that. But, you know, I kind of fit in everywhere, but nowhere. You know, I call it homeless versatility. <laughs> and it is true that one of the reasons I chose Loretto Heights College was because they had a ski club. <laughs> you know, it didn't last very long because I, as soon as I started getting cast, they wouldn't allow me to go skiing. <laughs> Something about breaking a leg isn't meant to be taken lightly. <laughs> So at college, I did everything from Shakespeare to opera. I just couldn't get enough. But it was frustrating, though, because I was always the cute little ingenue. Oh, I'm so sorry, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when you look like the girl next door, it's hard to get anybody to take you very seriously. But a thing that made a difference was <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a few mentors, and that made a difference for me. You know, they, they encouraged me, and they saw my potential. I didn't know how good I was until they told me. You know, so after college, I did what was expected. I moved to New York. I auditioned for Broadway, blah, 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 blah. I never really quite found my niche. So I went back to graduate school. And I started researching and writing, and I loved it. Yeah, I, my focus was the great American songbook, and the history of musical theater became a new passion for me. So, you know, I, I, I just loved researching and writing. You know, but by chance opportunity, I started uh, teaching in the world of academia. But so many academics, they can be such faux intellectuals, really territorial and defensive. So here's my quest, that somebody recognize all the great things I've got going on and not shun me and not, you know, push me aside or be threatened by me. You know, the times when I've really thrived the most have been the times when I've had a mentor to guide me. On my own, I can't really find that something that encompasses all that I am. That's what I want. I want to do something that shows the world all of the wonderful things that I can do. Something that says she's smart, she's talented, she belongs here.
here five minutes ago. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Yeah. 
like, easy life. Doors open, I put one foot in front of the other and it seemed to work out pretty great for me. And then one day, in the middle of my perfect life, my dad died. Oh. One week later to the day, his only sister and my very favorite aunt died of a broken heart. Only a few months passed before I could even catch my breath. A dear friend died in a horrible, horrible accident. And then my father-in-law died. And another friend. And my brother-in-law. And that was really ugly. And then one more friend. And one of my nearest enemies. Seven deaths in 16 months, and I was strangely counting. I guess because I thought it would end, you know? I mean, it has to end, right? You know, my dad's death wasn't real to me. I, um, I just plunged right back into work. I was shooting a show 20 hours a day, and I told myself and anyone who asked, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. Death is a natural transition to life, and, you know, um, gosh, I, my dad had three heart attacks before I turned seven. I actually used to practice his funeral as a kid. So he lived to be 85, which is great, right? I'm so lucky, and I'm fine. I'm fine, but I wasn't fine. I wasn't fine at all. By the third death, I literally turned to God, and I said, okay, that's three, so we're done, right? We weren't done. And as the deaths continued to pile up around me, the wind just slowly, inevitably, dropped out of my sails until one day I couldn't get out of bed anymore. My sunshiny self was obliterated under all of it. Death, grief, loss, depression, heartbreak. Oddly enough, that was the beginning of my aha moment. I mean, granted, it was a really slow aha moment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it took me about three years to even start to get my head above water. And then <laughs> it took the death of another friend, far too young, and full of all the joy of life, to give me some closure to my dad and all the rest. This friend gifted me some mystical magic and pushed me to a doorway to a profound love. Who knew? On the other side of all that death, it's actually pure love. When I think of home, I think of a place where there is love overflowing. I wish it was home. Oh God, I wish I was back there. With the things that I've been knowing, the wind that makes this tall tree bend. My teardrops fall as a meaning, sprinkling the sea, makes it all clean. Maybe there's a chance for me to go back now that I've lost my direction. It should be nice to be back home where there is so much love and affection. Just maybe I can convince time to slow up. Give me enough time in my life to grow up. Time be my friend. Let me start again. Suddenly the world has gone and changed its face, and I don't know where I'm going. I guess they call this growing. If you're listening now, please don't make it hard to believe the things I see that are real. Tell me, should I run away? Should I try and stay? Or is it better just to let me be?
I don't need a crowd I don't need the great wide world To shout my name out loud Don't need fame or fortune Nice as those things are I've got all I need To feel like I'm a I've got my sisters by my side I've got my sisters' love and pride And in my sisters' eyes I recognize the star I want to be And with my sisters standing strong I'm on the stage where I belong And nothing's ever gonna change that fact I'm part of one terrific sister act